who have sex with men, gonorrhea of the pharynx and rectum is usually asymptomatic, but data show that the infection can be transmitted during oral or anal sex. At a Congress of the International Society for Sexually Transmitted Diseases Research in Quebec City, Canada, Dr. Marcus Chen discussed the importance of rectal and pharyngeal screening. This is an important study to do because gonorrhea is common among men who have sex with men uh, who can have the infection in the throat and the rectum, which are important sites for transmission of the infection to other sexual partners. What were some of your key findings? So really the key finding, Heidi, was that we found that the levels of bacteria uh, in the rectum were substantially higher than in the throat, um, and some, uh, in some cases they were very, very high. And this suggests that infection from the rectum uh, may be higher than from the pharynx, so, so through rectal uh, intercourse. Um, and uh, because we know that uh, rectal gonorrhea enhances HIV transmission, it means it's particularly important for physicians to screen and test for rectal infections uh, from gonorrhea from men who have sex with men. What's the additional take-home message for doctors? So what I'd say to doctors, look, if you're seeing men who report sex with men, uh, offer an STI screen that includes uh, gonorrhea testing um, from the throat and the rectum, particularly from the rectum. Um, men may say they don't engage in uh, rectal intercourse or anal intercourse, but in fact some of these men may well have uh, anal gonorrhea or rectal gonorrhea. So do offer the swab um, and in doing so you may pick up the infection, treat it and reduce the risk of HIV transmission as well. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Sleep.